Welcome back to another wild video. Today we'll be going over a type of farm you should be doing. Y'all did vote on this and I want to say thank you so much for everybody who voted for this type of series. Before we get into that, if this type of video is not for you, make sure to check out my last video covering three instant farm spots. As you all know, we do raw gold here more than anything. With raw gold being nerfed and skinning being the way to go for most raw gold in most cases solo wise, one would get bored with doing the same thing over and over. That said today I'm bringing you a new type of series, farms that combine raw gold and auction house that sells. The main focus will not be Tmog, but we will be adding it in the total. Anything that sells in auction house is game, of course all raw gold is game. Farms in this series will be doable by any max level making these a go to just to do. Also note that the items said as sold will be added to the total. Unsold is not added. Remember prices shown are my sales, not what they are going for on your server or mid US prices. This is due to sales made, not what ifs. That said, please understand auction house takes time and you might get different drops. With that, nothing more is to be said. The first farm in this series is an oldie but goodie. Firelands. With a revamp, Firelands have become more of a go-to farm than it used to be. Here are the requirements. Be wad level or above, potion of treasure finding, one hour for free time to actually farm, professions with unlocked boxes or rogue, deposit fee for auction side, patience for the auction house, tune to make bags and DE items, and skinning. Those are the requirements. Follow those and you can get something similar to what I got. Also having an extra tune will help you DE items to get hypnotic dust. The raw gold side is very simple. This includes trash, gold drops from mobs, and tiny chests, green weapons, and locked boxes. That will give you a total of 3,397 gold per hour, which is 36.61% of your total gold made. This is 1k increase due to the revamp. Simple and fast as we know raw gold is. On to the auction house side now. Auction House will be based on anything we can get that is sold on the Auction House. Let's go over what we got. Let's start off with the slow Auction House items. That will be Tmog items. Here is what I got and sold. As you can see, only one sold at 1,430 gold, which is not bad for one hour farm, making it 15.41% of our total gold made. Next will be Patterns, Designs, and Plans, which will sell either the same time frame as Tmog or a little faster. As you can see, I sold half of them, which is better ratio than the Tmog. With 79 gold made, it's a 0.85% of the total gold made. Less gold made, but will be selling faster than Tmog. Next on our list is materials like volatiles or ember silk and hypnotic dust. Here is the breakdown. As you can see, the materials sell a lot faster than any auction house item, making up 4,371 gold at 47.11% of our total. With everything added, we made a total of 9,277 gold in one hour farm. 36.61% of the gold made was ASAP, meaning that you got that as raw gold. The other can range depending on items and server. Firelands has always been a staple. Now more than ever, it's the way to go. The raw gold is not bad at all here while you wait for your auctions to sell. I want to stress that Vitals are a big seller. You will always sell them night and day due to vial of sands and more. Same with the ore. So if you do this type of farm, you will make gold equal to other farms if not better in some cases. I want to say thank you so much to my Patreons for going that extra mile. If you like my content, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell button. It helps more than you think. And as always, stay stashy.